Hey there Islanders and welcome to our 7th editor tutorial video in which we'll be looking at compositions. We'll divert our attention from our original building and next to it we'll prepare a composition that we'll later add in there. It will be the goal of our little game, a magic sword in a boulder. So in the entities we'll choose a stone and for instance this black one, there we are, and now we'll add a sword. Let's choose this mythical one. Now we put it in, move it and twist it so it looks like it's wedged in. A bit more there, there and now we put it down a bit. Right. We'll open up its properties and we'll have a look what's so special about it. Again, it can have highlight which we'll give it so the player notices it. And we'll have it purple. Where's purple? There we are. Uh, we can also set if it can be traded and for what price. Uh, we can also set if it's pickable. We don't want that because we'll set our own interaction. It can also have a custom damage and damage type set. It's an epic sword. So let's go over the top and give it 500 to 550 damage range. And the type will be energy. Now, it's not pickable, but we do need a player to be able to pick it up somehow. So, we'll set a custom interaction here. We'll name it um, Take, and into the custom interaction ID, uh, we'll also write Take. Yeah, there we go. Now, let's look at the script. In the events, uh, we'll find on interact, uh, which will be our own interaction. From that, we'll be creating the script. Uh, we'll find the equip tile, so the sword jumps right into the player's hand. And as you can see, there's equip, character and item. We want the character to be the player that has the interaction, so we drag this little trigger tile and put it here. Uh, we can either choose the item with the dropper, or in Entities we have the This Reference. Uh, because we are in the sword script, uh, this refers to the sword. Uh, we'll drag that here into the item. Now, uh, we have the sword and the stone composition ready, so we'll select it. Uh, and select Store Composition. Uh, when you click on it, this window pops up. Uh, where you can have some other compositions, or you can create a new one. Um, here, uh, right here, we'll write the name, Sword in the Stone, and uh, press Done. Now, in Add Entity, there is also Add Composition. Here, you can have your previous compositions, or some downloaded from the workshop. Uh, if you want to download some compositions, then you can here through Get Compositions, which will take you to the workshop. And you can also upload your own composition if you want to show off your creation and let other people download it. Uh, you can read more about this on our wiki. So here we'll find the sword in the stone, or we can use the search bar as well. As you can see, it is the sword we have been working on with all the scripts and property changes. Uh, references, logics and scripts will all stay the same like when we copied the trigger zones in the previous episode. References will stay the same in composition and worlds and groups too. Here in the middle of the, our temple we'll put our sword in the stone composition. Glorious. And that's all for today, so next time we'll look at groups and worlds. But until then, stay classy Islanders. <laughs>